just got here at La Croissant Plaza and we're gonna go check out the SS inauguration parade. You have a sign that says "Thank you, Obama." Yes. What, uh, what do you think? Okay, for? I'm 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 thank thank him for uh, imp improving our economy, uh, cut cutting the uh, uh, unemployment rate by uh, almost two thirds, uh, for uh, giving bringing in health care for uh, 20 million more uh, people, for uh, re reducing our war footprint overseas. Did he reduce the war footprint? Because he's involved in like what seven, eight wars since he's been in yeah, office. Yes, right. Uh, he, I, he That's hasn't eliminated. The, he's reduced the number of troops overseas. Yes, he, yes, he's been involved in a lot of wars, and I, I'm not thanking him for that at one bit. Right. So that's nothing to be thankful. What about? Are you going to miss him like a drone strike? As I have, I have a lot of complaints w w with him I, as, uh, on his militarism, as especially also uh, I have a complaints with him on how close he's been to Wall Street. Uh, right, I mean, you have like jobs with peace. You have, uh, I believe in peace, wars, yeah. terrorism. Yeah. This guy has been a, a terrorist out there in the Middle East. Thousands and thousands of civilians drone bombed out of existence. Right. That's nothing right. to be thankful for. No. Right. He's not. No. I don't think. I mean, I'm not thankful. I'm not. Th there's things to be thankful for. There's things. Things. Things not. Uh, uh, he has improved. Uh, there's le less killing going on than under Bush. Less uh, killing. Uh, 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 in the wars. Yes. I so mean, uh, Bush probably drone bombed, I believe, 50 people. Oh, no, Obama no, assassinated no. two Americans. Right? How many did uh, Bush assassinate? Right? The first time in history right. that a president has that, that power right. to assassinate without bringing them exactly. right away. Yeah, yeah. Without, without having the courtroom and without having a um, uh, due process. Right? Right. Uh, all the emergency powers that just increased is now going to be handed to Trump because right. of Obama. Yes. Right? right? That's right. kind of scary, don't you right. think? Right, right. <laughs> So capitalism means respect for property rights and voluntary exchange. What do you define capitalism as? Capitalism is when capitalism is when the means of production are privately owned. You could say that, yeah, respect for property rights. No, 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 no. The means of production in the United States, who are they owned by? Now, do you think that the Food and Drug Administration is it's not a private. means of production. Yeah, Do you but no? Oh, right, so, right, here, here's something. Define means of production. What is that? Means of production. Who controls? Who produces the objects? The the things that we have. Who produces so who, who, the things that so we who have? Who produces things we have? Yes. Like I own a computer, and that produces uh, like web pages. That produces a lot of uh, income. I, I use a computer to do like photography, right? Uh, so I own a means of production no, by no, owning no, computers. No, no. This can be a means of. A means of, of production. It's, uh, by no, your it, definition, no, it, it produces not. stuff. No. I own a it computer. It is. Sorry, by definition. It, 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 no, you would be the means of production. I own the means of production. A no, computer is a means of production. Means of production. Now it doesn't mean a means of production. Listen, you don't want it to be a no, means of production. No, that's not true. Now you're creating exceptions listen, for what listen, is a means I'm of production. I'm not creating exceptions. By your definition. Who gave you the computer? What do you mean who gave me the computer? Where did you get the computer? Uh, I went to, uh, let's say, uh, Apple. Yeah, and who owns Apple? Uh, I guess at the time, Steve Jobs. Right. So who develops, who develops these technologies and who puts them out? Uh, people put them together. People put them together. Yeah, I don't know who they are. Do you okay. know who their names? Who owns who owns these people? Who are who do these laborers? These who do these laborers work for? Who do these laborers? Uh, 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 they they work for they work for Apple, correct? Now, who heads Apple? I forget who it is now, but yeah, 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 yeah. So now, who, this who, is who heads Apple? Huh? Who heads Apple? I don't know. Tim Why do you ask the question important. if you don't know Tim the Tim answer? To? I, Tim Cook. Okay, uh, Tim, Tim Cook. Cook. Now, yeah. Tim Cook. Yeah. Puts these product, these materials are produced yeah. and spread, correct? You said the means of production is defined by things that produces things, right? It's not just I own that a computer. Things. I mean, I could have got it from a thrift store. I own a computer. It doesn't matter owned, who it, who would have owned the computer. Doesn't matter who owns it. I own yes, a computer. I own a computer. Okay. I own it. It's mine now. It doesn't no, belong to no, Tim no, no, Cook. No, no, no. doesn't belong to Steve Jobs. He's not, he's not wrong, Nathaniel, that the computer is a tool to produce it's a tool, things. And it's a tool to produce things. It's a what means a, of production. What he is not understanding, 
uh, yeah. is that you, 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 there's some definition you have that you haven't this explained. Isn't just, this isn't just some definition. Okay. Sorry, my Listen, computer is my means of production. The computer, a computer is not a means of production. Sorry, it produces stuff. Do you own the things that it produces? I own it, yes. How? <laughs> uh, I own my printer. I print you these out. I sell that piece of okay. paper. I sell artwork. Who I sell my photography. Who developed your printer and who put it out? I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't actually I don't know. This is it. Okay. I don't know. Trying to argue, what are you what are you trying what are what are your so what I advocate is uh, I see government as a monopoly a services that you and I want because I want roads I want security I want post I want mail like the post office has a monopoly on delivering pieces of paper it's illegal and criminal for anyone to compete in that market or ABC is a monopoly on distal spirits it's illegal and criminal for anyone to compete in delivering distal spirits training mm -hmm. right so I just want to uh, and abolish this monopoly called right. government but not, and no let anyone compete in the market to provide these services. What if it's a natural monopoly, though? That's important. Uh, or like, uh, no, well, monopolies can't really exist without government interfering in, in these particular market areas. Like, dominion power is a state-granted monopoly. Government itself is a monopoly. Um, but you'll find that... Um, in order to have like a natural monopoly, you could say you have a share of a you have a large share in the market of a good or service. But at any time, anyone can compete because there's no government laws to prohibit competition. You may have a large dominant share in the beginning, but I'm not I'm not against eliminating government. Sore losers. We're not even talking about that. Right, right. Not even. I'm not against. I'm not against eliminating government monopolies. I, I think that's perfectly fine. I don't think government itself is monopoly. I think it's a, a way for organizing. It's a way for um. Private If the gains to having one opinion, like like one effective decision, are better than chaos, that's what government's for. I think government is chaos. Government, I mean, the United States started the limited, smallest government. Now it's the largest empire on the planet. You have uh, millions of people suffering cases for victimless crimes. You have Obama with seven wars, drone bombing thousands of people, bombed two field hospitals. This is chaos. You have police officers just shooting people uh, all, all around here, right? Whites and blacks. Um, I find this to be chaotic. There's nothing orderly about any of this. Government doesn't exist to protect you. But okay, it doesn't. Be, no, to, to, to Supreme Court rulings that even said, like in Warren versus District of Columbia, uh, to Saney versus uh, Winnebago County, that there is no obligation to protect your life, liberty, or property. So even the government have even made that, have asserted that claim. But your analogy does not apply to all situations. And even if the government was to make the claim that we're here to protect the property, it must first do necessary acts of evil by robbing you a property through taxation. So you can't, you can't say I'm here to protect your property when I first. But I'm going to steal it from you first, right? I mean, that depends. Do you decide if you think that you should never have any uh, dependency to redistribute and help the re the collective? Then yes, the you can do that. The market does a really good job. In no, it, it, the market. There are such things as market failures, though. And to argue that market failures, what? what? Um, uh, I don't know. Market failures. I really don't. I'm really lacking as an example, but. Uh, <laughs> of uh, Chase uh, racist remarks towards uh, black people? Well, I think that as a product of the times, it's unacceptable, obviously, but, you know, what are we going to do? The entire times of the 40s and 50s were racist, you know? Can't try to hide from that. That's what it was. But then you balance out with the fact that you spend your entire life fighting for the rights of uh, colonialized people, you know. <laughs> I'm ready to
masters of my tormented past. Swallow the pain, follow the mental terrain. It takes a hell of a man nowadays to maintain garbage bloodstain. Face bruised and battered, eyes reflect agony. Of dreams that were shattered, it never mattered. To the so-called general public about my nation's situation and how we rise above it and above it. When we self-destruct and kill a home, and the greater responsibility, yes, it's still a home. We should know by now that the system is designed for our demise. If we have rise, we'll be left behind. The dollar signs rule. But what about the fool who falls victim to the material world?